हे अबू असलाकुम अंकल यूसुफ वालेकुम असलम माई डियर अबू अंकल इट इज नाइस टू बी हेयर आई एम श्योर डेट यू हैव स्टोरी टू टेल मी यस माई डियर आई हैव स्टोरी टू टेल यू टूडे इट इज अबाउट अनदर कम्पेनियन ऑफ द प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद सल्लाम अंकल यूसुफ आई वॉज वेटिंग फॉर यू आई विश टू लिसन टू द स्टोरी ऑफ सलमान अल फारी Uncle please go ahead I am so excited to hear the story I'll tell you the story of Salman radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu The story of Salman al-Farsi radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu Salman radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu explained everything that happened at Abu Dardas radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu's home to the prophet The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam supported Salman radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu's for what he said as it was the right thing. Salman radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu helped the Prophet and his companions with his brilliant ideas during the time of crisis. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and sahabas were always under the threat of the enemies. One day the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam assembled his companions for a meeting. They all gathered and discussed their views about how they could develop a great defense. And then a long-legged man with flowing hair for whom the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam bore great love came to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam with his views. It was none other than Salman Al Farsi radhiyallahu taala anhu. He held up his head and looked at Medina, which was surrounded by hills, mountains, and exposed open country that could be easily broken through by the enemy. Salman radhiyallahu taala anhu. had much experience in warfare and its tactics in his native persia he was a skilled soldier too therefore he proposed to the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam something that the arabs had never seen before in warfare he proposed to dig a trench in the open areas around medina the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam found this idea a brilliant one he asked his people to carry out the plans made by salman radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu they immediately got to work during the excavation of the trench salman radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu took his place among the people who dug and removed the sand the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam also took part in the digging Once it so happened that the workers were trying to break a rock apart their pickaxes could not smash it in spite of Salman's strength and hard work Salman radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu then went to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to ask him whether the trench could be dug around that stubborn and challenging rock The prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam returned with Salman radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu to see the rock himself when he saw it asked for a pickaxe and asked the companions to stay away from the splinters he said in the name of allah and then raised his firm hands gripping the pickaxe and hit the rock the rock broke and an intense light spread all over salman saw the light shining upon al madina the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam raised the pickaxe again and gave a second blow and the rock broke again when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam struck his third blow the rock shattered the people then got back to work and successfully finished the digging of the trench when the enemies approached the city to attack they were stunned to see the huge trench 
they now had no way to enter into Madina. The forces of their enemy remained in their tents for a month, unable to take Al Madina. One night, Allah sent a storm that devastated their tents and the enemies were forced to escape. Salman al Farsi had an in depth knowledge about the Holy Quran. He translated the Holy Quran into Persian language. He was the first person to interpret and translate Holy Quran in a foreign language. He was known as the Imam, the flag of flags, the inheritor of Islam the wise judge, the knowledgeable scholar and one of the house of the Prophet ﷺ. These were all titles were given by the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ himself. Salman anhu was appointed as the governor of Persian region. He was the commander of 30,000 Muslim troops. Yet, he was very humble. He lived from his own manual labor. He did not own a house, but instead rested under the shades of trees. He was a true believer of Allah. He used to say that he was surprised to see so many people spending all their life concerned about their life on earth without a thought of the word above. Salman Taala and whose death is unknown. However, it was probably during Usman bin Affan Rizal's reign or the second year of Ali's reign that he died. He was a great man and a great leader. Did you enjoy the story of Salman Rizal'u? MashaAllah, that was great, Uncle Yusuf. I loved the story very much. He was a great man with great love towards the Prophet, the Holy Quran and the religion. Thanks, Abu. It's time for me to leave. I'll tell you another story tomorrow. Ma salam. Ma salam, Uncle Yusuf. Okay, it is time to go home. Come on, let us walk home.